Louis, it's been a number of months now since you signed for the New Saints. How's it going overall? Yeah, really enjoying it. Um, from day one, as I say, I've really enjoyed it. And luckily, we know we're top of the league and, and things are going all right so far. And let's talk about your debut, shall we? What a way to go. UEFA Europa League against MSK Zillina here at Park Hall. The team won and you also scored the first competitive goal for the New Saints this season. Yeah, a header from post from Maz's uh, corner. As I couldn't have asked for a better start really with that game. Uh, but all, all pre-season, the lads were flying, so it was no surprise that we performed the way we did because we had a really, really good, strong pre-season. We had good results against a um, number of top teams and, as I say, it wasn't a surprise that we performed the way we did. And would it be true to say that that game against Zillina and also the goal was your highlight if you were to be put on the spot so far during this campaign? I'd say so, yeah. I mean, playing Zillina, which is, is, is a massive club in Slovakia, um, managing to beat them and scoring on the debut, I couldn't have asked for much more to say. And, and I do think that was definitely my highlight, yeah. And you mentioned pre-season. How important was it for you as a player to have signed in advance of the first competitive game as opposed to what happens sometimes you come in when the team's already played a number of games? Very important. Uh, I was fortunate to get things done very quickly. So it gave me the chance to have all these weeks of pre-season to fit in with the lads, fit in with the style of play, you know, the surroundings and, and I haven't asked so much more really. And not just a goal in the Europa League, but you've also scored a number since, important ones as well. Is there any one in particular that stands out for you and why? Probably the Cornish Key one at home. Um, you know, it was his first time playing against Cornish Key for TNS and obviously the rivalry that is. And to score the goal, which became the winner, I was, um, I was very happy with that. Obviously that goal in the Europa League was a massive one for you personally. You've scored since then, although not just goals, but also contribution as well. For example, against Baritown United, you found the net and you also had an assist in the 2-1 victory. How happy are you personally with your overall contribution to the team's effort? Yeah, I mean, I'm happy, but obviously it can be better because I always try to improve and to be better than what I'm doing. Um, I'm, I've always loved scoring goals and I've always been known to score goals as, as a kid growing up and that is what I pride myself on and I, and I love doing it. But it's the position that I'm playing this year, just wide of the, of the three, um, it does entirely, you have to assist as well. So it's important not just to, to score but to provide. And you mentioned you going back as a child growing up and playing football. You were with Liverpool on the books there with the academy. So you've been in football pretty much all of your life. Mm. This last Christmas, where there were no games at all, must have been quite different to previous years. Well, yeah, I, I listened to Leo's interview where he said it was different for him, but to be honest with me, not really, because when, when you're a young lad going to the academy, you have Christmas off pretty much, and um, I've been in Spain for the past few seasons, and I had Christmas breaks there as well, uh, not long, I think it was a week or two weeks maybe, so I think last year at Ballet I had the Boxing Day match, and, that, and obviously Greenwood Town, there was one, but apart from that, I think they had only two Christmas I've been in, everywhere else I've been luckily enough to have a Christmas off. And as we think about the current situation, one of the questions that we asked Leo, you mentioned that interview, and we will ask players and staff alike, what's it like being on the training ground for a week, knowing that there isn't a game at the end of it? It's different, I'd say it's a bit more relaxed, you know, there's no um, immediate focus on the game at the end of the week, there's no there's not as much tactical work or specific work but more so just fitness in little games you know just uh, enjoyment pretty much so it's, it's different in that mentality aspect and as we look at the table the new saints is top of the pile going into the new year it's tight though tns connor's key and ballatown have all lost just one game each so there's still a lot to play for with those three teams all in with a realistic chance of perhaps lifting the title at the end of the season. Yeah, it's been a very competitive season. Uh, as you said, the, the uh, three top teams this year have all been re really good at stand-up results. But um, I think it's gone down to the wire regardless. I think no one's going to run away with it now. I think that's safe to say because everyone's doing so well. Um, 
it's going to be them crucial moments now and then decisive moments that are going to separate the three teams.